So my name is Sean Faith Washington. Shout out to thoughtsofredemption.com. Right? A thought that God changed about me. Uh, I wrote a book called Overcoming Sexuality in an Oversexualized World finding freedom and love through Jesus Christ, right? Rededicating and learning about God. And so that's like a synopsis of the title, right? It was overcoming sexuality in an over-sexualized world. And one thing that God definitely changed about me was the way that I thought about sex, the way I thought about my body, the way I thought about me interacting with people physically that I never really understood. I always thought that me having sex with somebody was me getting my sexual gratification or me doing me and getting what I wanted. But I didn't understand that sex is a is supposed to be selfless. It's supposed to be something that's not about what can I get, but what can I give you? And it's the ultimate expression of love because love isn't selfish. So how can I make love with somebody if I'm being greedy or if I'm being selfish minded, right? So love is selfless. And how do you understand that? You understand that because the Bible says that God is love and that God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son, right? God gave, God didn't take. Uh, So understanding that love is selfless and that sex is something that I need to come into a mind frame of of not let me get mine but how can i love this person by giving right and that's the ultimate expression of love and that should be kept in marriage because that's a deep thing and i stopped looking at sex as a surface level thing and god started transforming my mind to understand that sex is so much deeper sex is so much deeper and so i'm so grateful for him giving me the understanding and i've been absent in three years now praise god all Jesus, all Jesus, right? Understanding that now, it gives me a different mind frame about sex and about love. And sex is supposed to be a physical manifestation of love. Not greed, not selfishness, but love. So that is my thought that Jesus changed. Thank you for having me. Peace and love, fam.